people that are gonna swoop that was not <laughs> I know two people that are gonna say something first it's gonna be Jesse knowing that I brought out the tattered sweater she loves this sweater I love this sweater it's my favorite sweater and um, Lena because I totally copied this video from Lena I decided to destroy my bookshelves because of Lena so here it is all of the physical books that are yet to be read on my shelves. Let's roll the intro. Hello everyone, I'm Monica and welcome back to my channel, Mooney Reads, where I talk about books and things. And today I have a video that <laughs> I think is like a normal follow-up to my previous video where I talked about my no buy year. If you have any questions about my no buy year, please go to that video or <laughs> Ask me down below. I I got nothing but time to talk to you, you know. We're here for it. So, um, I decided to just show you all the books that I haven't read. And um, as I was destroying my shelves doing so, I was like, why don't I just film myself destroying my shelves? So, <laughs> I'm just gonna hold them up. I might say a thing or two about them, but mostly I'm just gonna show you the books. Because if I say something about all of these books, then... We're gonna be here a while. We're gonna be here a while anyway, so let's just get started. The Loving Spirit by Daphne du Maurier. I'm also not sure I'm gonna actually read this one because it's it, it just reminds me of Jamaica Inn and we all know how that ended. Not well, not well. One of my most disappointing books because I thought it was gonna be scary from the get-go and it's just confusing and weird and that's House of Leaves by Mark Z. Danieleski. I I just don't know how I feel about this book. I really don't know how I feel about it. It's supposed to be weird and creepy and scary and I got to page 20 and it was just boring as fuck. Now I do have certain books by the same author because I have read one book for them and of course, what did Monica pre uh, no buy do? She would just buy the books, just buy all the books from the same author. So here I have Middle Winter Blood by Marco Sedgwick and I also have what is it called? The Foreshadowing by Marcus Sedgwick. I've heard these are amazing, I just haven't gotten to them. These are actually ones that I plan to read and I actually have high hopes for. Another two-parter, <laughs> these are by Mary Watson and this is The Wicker Light. I love this cover, this is one of my favorite covers. And then we have The Rent Hunt, also by Mary Watson. The Year of the Witching by Alexis Henderson. Now this is one of the last books that I got for my birthday last year and I feel so bad because most of the books that I got for my birthday I didn't like. So, um, and so far I'm not digging this. So, I'm so sorry to the person that got it for me. Sarah, I love you, but yeah, not my favorite read so far. The Drowning Girl and Silk, both by Caitlin R. Kiernan. I think that's how you pronounce that name. Middle Game by Shauna McGuire. I actually tried to read this as an audiobook. I read audiobooks to fall asleep and I, I can't get past the first 10 minutes without falling asleep. So I think I just have to just suck it up and read it, like actually read it. Vita Nostra by Marina and Sergei Dianchenko. Um, this was a recommendation from Lena, from Sufficiently Advanced Lena. She actually really loved it. This is Dark Academia and I love Dark Academia, so I'm guessing I'll get to it at some point. It's gonna be really interesting to see when I get to these books now that I am not buying books to distract myself from getting to these books. Although I do have Scribd and Audible, so... Am I really not distracting myself? I don't think so. Next up we have The Magnificent Monsters of Cedar Street by Lauren Olivier. Oliver, Oliver, not Olivier. Um, actually, this is another gift for my birthday and I have high hopes for it. I hope that this will be the one book that redeems my birthday book haul. Misery by Stephen King. I have no intention of reading this book. I solely bought this book because it was published in 1987, the year that I was born. The year of our Lord, 1987. The Silent Companions has made it through so many on hauls that I just don't even know what to do about it anymore. Um, I tried to read it three times and three times I couldn't get paid past page 20 so I don't know what I'm gonna do with it but I have it. This was our Pact by Ryan Andrews. This has been on many a TBR and I never get to it. I don't know why. It seems cute. It seems adorable. I just... There is a time when I feel like reading 
comic books and then I just I'm not there right now so Umbrella Academy the apocalyptic suite by Gerard Way and Gabrielle Ba which is Snyder Jock Hall Linsworth and Robbins volume one through the woods stories by Emily Carroll again has been in many a TBR I just haven't felt like picking up comic books then we have all of the books uh, by Arthur Conan Doyle that Penguin put together about the adventures of Sherlock Holmes. So we have The Adventure of the Engineer's Thumb and Other Cases, The Adventure of the Six Napoleons and Other Cases, The Five Orange Pip and Other Cases, and The Valley of Fear by Arthur Conan Doyle. I love these. These, these are like my babies. I'm kind of glad that I'm like I got them before my no buy, but those were actually the books that like let me down a rabbit hole of you're buying too many books and too much shit in general. The Bone Season book one, which is The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon, The Mime Order, which is book two by Samantha Shannon, and The Song Rising, which is book three by Samantha Shannon. I bought them because I thought it was a finished trilogy and that and they were really inexpensive and now I have them and it turns out that it's gonna be a nine book series I hate series and it's a fantasy series what the fuck was I thinking I wasn't clearly I just wasn't then we have a nice duology by oh, nice I say nice why is it nice I don't know we have a duology by Nnedi Okorafor a kata warrior of Nakata witch they sound great. We'll see when I get to them. We have The Age of Innocence by Edith Warthrop. I can never say that. Wharton. I always say Warthrop. Who's Warthrop? <gasps> Pelinor Warthrop. That's why I keep saying Warthrop. Uh, Madame, Madame Bovary by Gustave Flaubert. And The House of Joy by Edith Wharton. I have no idea. Wharton, yes. I have no idea what that book is about. Like. I kept these because they're the only ones from this edition that are not Jane Austen. Then I have books two and three in the Mistborn trilogy. Yes, I have read book one. You will know my thoughts about it later, but in case you're interested, it's The Well of Ascension and The Hero of Ages. Okay, now we're gonna step away a little bit from fantasy, I, I think. No, I think I have more fantasy up there. Oh my god, I don't even want to get to those shows because Everything down here is mostly red, but when it gets up there, oh, it's so many. But anyway, we have To Kill a Kingdom by Alexandra Cristo. Again, why haven't I read this? Because I bought too many books. On Earth, We're Briefly Gorgeous, a novel by Ocean, by Ocean Vaughn. I'm dreading reading this because I think it's going to destroy me. Fresh Water by Akweki Emezi, and um, this is one of those books that I bought on a whim. I want to read it. But I also kind of think that I'm not gonna like it, and I'm really sorry. I just, I just think you know, it's going to be a, bit, a little bit weird for me. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Maurice by E. M. Forrester. I think I'm gonna love this, but you know, I just haven't read it. I have no excuse. I have no excuse. I haven't read it. Putting all these books back is gonna suck. Here's a classic that I don't mind if I don't read. <laughs> Moby Dick by Herman Belleville. I don't mind if I don't read it because this book is basically a weapon. So <laughs> really, it's not that big of a deal. There's so many, this is the whole spark joy thing. Like this sparks joy. Um, Erebus by Michael Palin. <laughs> Every time I say Michael Palin, I'm like, is he related to the Palins? But anyway, I want to read Erebus. Here you go. It's a story about a ship. It was lost at sea for 600 years and then they found it. Monsoon Mansion. Total cover by. But can you blame me? Look at it. So yeah, Monsoon Mansion. A book I'm dying to read is What a Fish Knows, The Inner Lives of Our Underwater Cousins. And if you don't know this, I have thalassophobia, which means I am terrified of fish and I am fighting it through therapy and also reading books about fish. Okay, and this is it. I have all the books that I haven't read down here with me. So let's start with um, The Dreadful Tale of Prosper Redding by Alexander Bracken. I've had this for years and I haven't read it and I want to. I just never get to it. I need to, I need to declutter, I think. 
No, I already did that. Boy Girl C by Chris Vick. I feel I need to say something about every book I hold up. Like, I just can't be like, hey, here's a book. You know, like, I gotta say something. I don't know. I <laughs> Cover by. It was a cover by. I'm sorry. Who Fears Death by Nnedi Okorafor. <laughs> It was another cover buy. I used to buy books because of the cover and also because I love Nadia Okorafor but then I read the last of the Binti trilogy novels, novellas and <sighs> it was a really big letdown so. Daughters of Enri by Reni Camayo. Look at that cover. Look at that cover. You see that? You see that? Beautiful. Beautiful. The Break by Katharina Vermet. I have this in three different formats. I have it in audio, I have it in Kindle, and I have it in physical. Wondersmith, The Calling of Morgan Crow by Jessica Townsend, which is book number two in the Morgan Crow books. Ah, the Morgan, Morgan Crow books. I really enjoyed book one. It's like one of my favorite middle grade reads, so I really want to get to this one, but you know. Our books. Silence by Sh Shusaku Endo. By Shusaku Endo. I love this cover even though it's a movie cover. So. The Penguin Book of Japanese Short Stories. Bernadine Eva Crystal, Girl, Woman, Other. I'm getting tired of saying things about these books. Shark. No, not. Sh <laughs> In Spanish it says shark. Jaws. This is Jaws by Peter Benchley. Eventually. This is one of those books where I don't care if I read it or not. I just I just have it because it's a present that my stepdad gave me and it's one of the most beautiful covers that I've ever seen. So and then I could read these right now, like right while I film this video. Uh The Missing Girl and uh by Shirley Jackson and Africa's Tarnished Name by Chinua Ache Ache Achebe. I am not sure how to say that and I did not look it up before this video. I'm sorry. El Principe de Estornado by Miguel de Libes. This is a Spanish author and as you can see, I don't have a lot of Spanish books. So this is one of the few and this was a present from one of my students to me when they passed their... A New York Winter's Tale by Mark Helprin. When I ordered this, I thought this was going to be about yay big <laughs> and it's yay big. And yes, I have the movie cover. I love that movie. I actually made the made the trailer for that movie. The Marrow Thieves by Cherie Dimal Dim Dimal Dimalin Dimalin. I don't know, but this book sounds amazing. All the worlds are real. Short fiction stories by Susan Palwick. I have no mouth, but I must scream. One of the like books that will stay with me. I mean, stories that will stay with me forever. But this has. More short stories, and this is by Harlan Ellison. Wastelands, Stories of the Apocalypse, featuring Octavia E. Butler and a bunch of white men. Night Flyers by Night Flyers and Other Stories by Jerry R. R. Martin. I hate that I got this book in this cover and I can't buy the other cover because I want to no buy, and that makes me sad. My cat is actually hiding in the litter box at the moment. She hates the camera, I guess. Um, Stories of Your Life and Others by Ted Chiang and also Exal Exaltation, Exal Exhalation, not Exaltation, by Ted Chiang. I'm really excited for both of these. Like, I can't wait to get to them. But, like, I got the Leaning Tower of Books. I'm going to count them and I'm going to tell you how many I have. How Long to Black Future Bo Month by M.K. Jemison. Again, I was really excited to get this. And then I read um, The City We Became and I became less excited. That was not a wordplay that I was planning on doing. It just came out that way. The Haunted Tropics, Caribbean Ghost Stories, edited by Martin Munro. Now, I'm, I was really excited for this until I found out that there was a lot of people that are not from the Caribbean writing these stories. So, you know, make of it what you will. Takumi Tak. To me, I'm guessing that's how you pronounce that. And this is an anthology of Arctic horror stories. And this is actually written by uh, BIPOC. Whispers by Krina Lumidla Krista. I also have So Long Been Dreaming, Postcolonial Science Fiction and Fantasy. This was edited by Nalu Hopkins and Up Upfinder Meehan. I can never say that right. Never, never. Whenever I hold up this book, I always fuck it up. Also, yes. 
my cat is still in the litter box. She just likes to move the like stuff around because she gets nervous when I bring out the camera. Latinx Rising, edited by Matthew David Goodwin. Kill Creek by Scott Thomas. And I'm in the middle of reading this right now. I'm 110 pages in, so, you know, we're getting there. We're, we're, we're making progress. The Secret History by Donna Tart. I really, really want to read this, but I just... Reading slump, and also it's really long. <laughs> Then we have two books that I'm actually not really planning on reading, but I want to own anyway. Is that weird? That's weird, isn't it? But it's these two books. Look at those covers. Why does Jed Vandermeer have the best covers? One of them is Venus Underground, and the other one is Shriek and Afterward. I have them. I love them. I love them. I want them. Elatsoe by Darcy Little Badger. I love this book. I love everything about this book, how beautiful it is. And I want to read it. I want to read all of these books. That's the good thing about all this, though, that I want to read all of these books. We're going to keep that in mind. We're going to keep that in mind whenever the urge to buy new books comes in. Then we have three books by the same author, which is um, The Ocean at the End of the Na Lane by Neil Gaiman. Then we have Fortunately, The Milk by Neil Gaiman. I have no idea what this book is about. And then we have The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. And all of this, I got the illustrated editions because they are fucking beautiful. You know what I just noticed? Most of these are not sci-fi because I tend to read sci-fi books as soon as I get them. But I do have some sci-fi here. War of AI by Ishan Pandey, which I did look up because last time I mentioned it, I said that I wasn't sure if they were um, BIPOC, but it turns out that they are BIPOC. Then we have Red, Ri Red River Girl, A Journey into the Dark Heart of Canada by Joanna Jolly. This is actually a true story about, sadly, a Native American girl that was murdered. Then we have another impulse buy. <laughs> well, come on now, all of this is impulse buy, but The Cousins, Family First and Always by Karen M. Mac Mac Manus, Mac Manus, that's hard to say. And then we have the final two, Tentacles by Rita Indiana. And this is translated by Aki Ovejas. And this is actually a winner of the grand prize of the Association of Caribbean Writers. And then we have Ambassador by William Alexander, which is about a little boy whose family is actually illegal immigrants in the United States. And he becomes the ambassador for Earth for aliens so there you go now i'm gonna count these up and we're gonna see how many i have so the grand total is drum roll please 81 books so when i say that i'm on a no buy and that i have plenty of books to read this is not even counting the books on my kindle so don't worry i'm gonna be fine i have plenty of books to read and well that wraps up this video i just wanted to show you all of the buying that i did last year and the years before this is not just last year but most of it is last year and i'm really excited to get through most of these some of them i'm not too excited about and i do have books that i um on hold and i do have books that i am in the middle of or dnfing and stuff so yeah i i probably have like a hundred books in total like if i count everything so um don't worry about me i'm gonna be fine now it's gonna be fun to put all of these books back but as always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sitting through that if you sat through that. If you did, please leave me a black heart down below. And remember that I'm here for you every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Come hell or high water. And that I appreciate each and every single one of you. So, with that being said, remember I'll see you in another galaxy far, far away. Thank you so much. Bye.